this is Jessica from Inkfall Art, and today we're going to work on an illustration inspired by Lisa Frank. I grew up in the 90s, so there were Lisa Frank things everywhere. Notebooks, pencils, erasers, and I wanted them all. I've been trying to get better at my craft, and I thought that imitating different artists that I really like would be a good way to do that so I was kind of looking back on which artists inspired me most when I was young and definitely Lisa Frank was the first one to come to mind so I'm taking the art from the notebooks that I remember most and redesigning them with my own personal twist I'm in Illustrator in the beginning for this video rather than Photoshop. I just wasn't happy with how hand-drawn my lines looked. They didn't have the wave I wanted them to have. And I was sure you can achieve what I want in Photoshop, but I just know exactly how to achieve it in Illustrator, so I decided to start there. I really like how the background sketch turned out and I really hope that the overall illustration turns out how I see it in my head. That's one of the frustrating things about art is half the time it doesn't turn out how you picture it. Sometimes it turns out better which is awesome but sometimes it turns out worse and you have to scrap it and start from the beginning again. I just really like how flexible digital art is. You make a mistake and you can make it to seem like it never happened, <laughs> which is really nice. Traditional art is not that forgiving at all. I think that's why I'm so nervous about making traditional art. I'm just so worried I'm gonna make a mistake, which I need to work on. I need to do more traditional art so I feel more comfortable with it. Like it's not an end all be all type situation. So I'm starting in Illustrator to draw my lines and then I'm going to switch over to Photoshop to add in the color. I just feel like it's easier to add color in Photoshop. It's a lot more fluid and I feel like I know more tricks in Photoshop to add color. Doing gradients are easier and blending in colors. I like that I get to use so many colors in this design. It's another reason why I picked Lisa Frank. I don't usually get to work with this many colors um, in the field of graphic design because a lot of graphic design is work is just like for businesses and they usually want two or three colors to use on all designs because you have to you know stick it within the realm of the branding that they have pre-approved which is understandable you want everything to look consistent and you don't want the art necessarily to stand out you want what they are trying to advertise to stand out. So whether it be a product or a service, you want that to stand out first and foremost. So a choice I made about a year back was to not draw eyes on my characters anymore. And the reason for that is I wanted my character's body language to express their feelings more so than just their eyes. And now that I've drawn them a while like that, I've grown to really like it and it's become a little bit of my style.
the color blending in the sky turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. Um, so I decided to duplicate it in the water below as a reflection. I guess I've just worked and worked and worked on um, blending colors and it's failed so many times that maybe finally I'm getting the hang of it. I hope so. I hope I'm learning enough tricks to make it look better. Now for some shading and highlights. Um, I'll try and make it quick because it's a little boring to watch, but in the end, it makes the art really pop. This is probably one of my favorite pieces I've ever done. I didn't realize I was gonna like it so much or that it was gonna come out so great, but I am really excited to make more of these Lisa Frank inspired pieces. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.